Wow, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just gonna take a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool, okay. We're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. <laughs> in the distance. Could it be? Jim and Kim's. I kinda like that name. A big burned out neon sign hangs above tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? Alright, it'll do. It'll do lounge? That is a real place! <laughs> I wanna say it's in Finland somewhere. Uh, or no, no, no. That's it's somewhere in Europe. Never mind. Um, the bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool ball sounds in the, uh, pool ball sounds in the back are, as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? Old B, huh? Uh, one beer, please. Make- yeah, I'll be specific. One yingling, please. Sure thing, boss. Bartender slides me an ice cold yingling. I take a, I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh, I'm Neil. Oh, hold up. Hold up. <clears throat> I'm Neil. You know, from the young ones. I love that damn show since I was a kid. I'm so happy I get to do this voice. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of pre uh, preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. I'm just gonna pretend, because just looking at the TV, it looks like it might be a football game, so I'm just gonna pretend it's my Philadelphia Eagles, and we're winning for a change. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, it's our eagle, that swoops, okay, uh, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the uh, opposing team. Oh, 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 oh. I know how to deal with that. I'm from Philly. I can deal with that. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the, pa the passion for their team is all in good fun. Then those are not Cowboys fans. <laughs> hey, they could be Giants fans. I'm cool with Giants fans. That's fun. Oh, A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass sidles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. He hold on. Since you look kind of drunk. Hey, sir. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Oh, th no. I, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Sideshow. That's always going to keep me laughing. I'm Sideshow, by the way. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my my preferred my Eagles are in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll they'll win the game with ease. Oh, oh, I love that team. And also I love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. <laughs> I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. I knew that already. Uh Buy a gal a drink. Buy Mary a drink. Don't buy Mary a drink. Ah, uh, what the hell? Let's see where this goes. I almost reluctantly signal the bartender and order Mary another glass of wine. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. Suppose I gotta keep you company now. Oh, f you. <laughs> So, <laughs> what do you want to know? What's your deal? What do you think of the game? What's the latest gossip around here? Ah, uh, I don't really care about gossip. Um, you know what? I'm a sports fan. What do you think of the game? Uh, they're really tossing those balls around, huh? <laughs> I was kind of hoping in the back of my head that's what she would have said. Hmm. Truth told, I wasn't really paying attention. I just saw a solid ball joke and went for it. Oh, you are me. Okay. That's respectable. <laughs> so what else can you tell me about this part of town? It's quiet, that's for sure. 
if you want an idyllic little life with white picket fences, this is the place to do it. But every town has its secrets, you know? She takes a sip of her drink. That was a little too ominous for my taste. She, excuse me. She leans closer. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, maybe some other time? Suit yourself, sailor. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron tanner. Ah, oh, wonderful. You're such a great person. I happily watched the game over another bit. Yeah, this is me. Like, I don't give a shit about if we have a bar and watch some damn game. Uh, I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead. Alright, I'm going to say it's the Giants, so I'm going to say it's Eli Manning, whatever. Uh, I heard an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team. It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone si sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Oh really? Let's see how this goes. Join the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, you bastard. Oh. We must be rooting for different teams. My opinion? My team is far superior. Gotta disagree with that. Based on our win-loss record, I say that my team is superior. And you know what? Funny enough, against the Giants, we had a nice three-year uh, streak going on. We had a nice three-season streak going on of beating the Giants in every game. So, ha-ha! <laughs> we kind of lost it, but it's okay. We can start that back up again. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team's beating yours. Conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my Eagles prevail! <laughs> Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. Yay! <laughs> I, re I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender, who bores two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. Name's Robert. Hmm. Thanks. I'm such. <laughs> I'm such Joe. I'm just cause I'm Android 18 because I really uh, 817 because I really look like him. You must be new here. Harry already hit on you. Wait a minute. Is this Dan? Cause I heard that. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you're playing the bad boy, really? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Robert chuckles. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jimmy Kim's. I should make him sound a little bit drunk. <laughs> is there actually a Jimmy Kim that runs this place? Nah. That big Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. <laughs> Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. This is true of me. <laughs> you like shots? I like shots. I love shots. Ooh, shots fired. I don't like them. No, I like fireball whiskey, so yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, really? <laughs> Robert Nassaniel, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. I also like Jack Daniels, but I'm not... Uh, I'm almost 30, I can't really drink that much anymore, so this is like, I'm just living memories at this point. <laughs> Here's to your health. We take the shots, the whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Wait, I think this is what making friends is, are you sure? <laughs> okay, Sancho, this guy's, out. this guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Compliment his cool leather jacket, compliment his rugged good looks, compliment his hand tattoo. I did get a warning about a hand tattoo, even though it does look cool. Mmm. I like both. I really like both. You know what? I know I should play it like me, but at the same time I know I should weave in and out of my own personal choices, so... Your face is good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 
that work? Wait, I think this is what flirting is. <laughs> what? Man, this guy's mysterious and cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? My daughter kicked me out of the house, running from my problems, trying to make friends. Eh. Uh, might as well be honest. I'm new in town. Figured it might be good to put myself out there. You seem pretty cool. The key to being cool is acting like you don't care about anything, but actually care very deeply about everything to the point where it's debilitating. Really? I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> yeah. He gets up. Be right back. Got a powder my nose. With cocaine? <laughs> never seen... Never seen Robert... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, I've never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? What? Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. I live in the cul-de-sac down the way! No! Does everybody live there? It's one of those games. Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Are you one of those neighbors that isn't? <laughs> Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, Sideshow. So are we doing this or what? <gasps> what? <laughs> what? You know, do you want to come inside or not? Come inside my butt? My ma oh, in the house. So a wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Lay it on smooth, smile and nod, no thank you. Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh. oh, I really want to play the character like me, and that person would say no thank you because I don't, I don't do that shit, but it's a game. It's a fucking game. It's a game. Oh, uh, Play the cards. Play it like it is. I complimented his good looks. Yep. Fuck it. Well, I don't see why not. That sounded smoother in my head. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh my god. I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom, but it's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. But if I can't see anything, I'm gonna see his fucking face! <laughs> he kisses me again and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. Oh my fucking god. I clumsily take off mine too. His hands rub down my chest. And suddenly he's tucking in my belt. <laughs> But was I wearing a belt? I thought I was wearing sweatpants. <laughs> I, 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 I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? <sighs> I, I've gone this far. No. Good. Robert continues to unbuckle my belt and guides me to the bed. But I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Oh my god! Am I gonna see something? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to put up a warning like what I had to do with South Park the Stick of Truth. <laughs> Sunlight streams in between the slates of my blinds. My head is pounding. I really overdid it last night. Wait a minute. This isn't my old house. Or my new house. Oh. Right. I look around for Robert, but find myself alone. You banged and ditched me, you pal. Hello? There's a clatter from the bathroom and the door opens. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his keys. That was fun. Yeah, it was. You should go. You bastard! Oh my god, you really did! Fuck you. Oh my god. 
That's certainly not what I was expecting. You fucking used me. Oh, God. This is like playing to real life. Um. <sighs> well, uh, I'll talk to you later. Robert cracks a smile. Sure. Clothes are over there. <laughs> I actually feel bad for my character. I hastily get dressed and show myself out. The sun is unbearably bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way back home when I suddenly remember... Amanda! Oh my god. Bad dad! <laughs> Wait, bad dad? Like he was a bad dad or me being bad dad? Oh. Oh no, <laughs> am I a bad 